I am going to show you how this Win Dry Tag Light Golf Grip saved the day. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I was familiar with wind grips. I've never used these personally. I've used Karma and Golf Pride and a bunch of other grips, but I kind of recently found out, man, they are innovating like crazy, and I am super stoked that I found this grip. I'm gonna show you why. First of all, before I get into the details about the grip, I'm gonna tell you how the whole search for a new grip started. These are my Cobra Speed Zone one length irons. They are great irons, but one of the issues I have here is because I'm all torso, really short legs, and I'm kind of short anyway. When I get into a normal golf stance, my hand to ground distance is shorter than a lot of people. So basically that information led me down the road of figuring out that I actually needed to shorten my clubs a little bit. So I was going to trim, oh, not quite an inch, but almost an inch off of the shaft. Now what that does is when you shorten the shaft up a little bit, you don't have as much perceived weight on the club. For example, let's say I grab it up here. I can kind of snap that around pretty quickly, even though I haven't changed the weight on the head. Now, if I grab it all the way back here and I try to swing it around, it's a little slower because it feels a lot heavier. It's kind of a lever effect, right? So what you do is when you shorten up a shaft, you can do some calculations to keep the swing weight the same. Now, shortening a shaft about a half an inch means you'll lose about three swing weight points. So if you shorten it up by an inch, what we've lost here is about six swing weight points. So if I want to add those swing weight points back, I've got to add weight to the head. Or there's another alternative. I can remove weight from the back of the club, from the handle area. Now that's not very easy, right? Because grips don't weigh that much. But in order to make up the perceived swing weight loss on this end, I would actually have to lighten up this grip using the formula that to get one swing weight point back, I would have to lose five grams in the grip. Because I've lost six swing weight points by shortening up the shaft, that means I would have to remove 30 grams from the grip. Are you kidding me? So what I realized is that this is the grip that I use. It's a Golf Pride MCC Plus 4. It's a great little rubber grip. Doesn't seem that heavy, you know? They're kind of standard, and a lot of people play with these. And so I was thinking about it. Well, the easiest way, instead of adding weight to the head, would be to remove weight from the grip. Unfortunately, I wanted to do two things. I needed to remove 30 grams of weight from the grip. And on top of that, I have kind of realized that I like these oversized grip. It started with the Jumbo Max grip, and I like the larger grip. It doesn't allow my wrist to rotate as much, but it doesn't really hurt me. I can actually pick up some club head speed. So I think I was swimming upstream in terms of trying to find a bigger grip that weighed a whopping 30 grams less. But guess what? I'm a genius. I used Google and found this company. So Win makes a bunch of grips and they make this one. It's called the Dry Tack Light. And this grip is incredible. I think it's polyurethane. It feels a little like foam. It looks just like the normal golf grip. It's got a taper here. It's very grippy. It's got kind of this rubberized texture on the outside here, but it is very light. How much lighter, in fact? I mean, how much lighter can they make a grip? Well, it's 29 grams lighter. So it basically solves my weight problem and gives me back all of the perceived swing weight without actually having to add any weight to the head. I can do all of the compensation right here on the grip. Now, on top of that, this grip is bigger than this grip. This grip is actually a mid-size grip, so it's one step up. So it means it's basically one sixteenth of an inch larger in diameter than your standard grip. It's obviously not going to be super apparent just by looking at it. They also make an oversized grip, and that one adds, I think, another six or seven grams to it. But you can definitely pick the grip size that you like the most. Now, for me, because the mid-size grip was almost exactly the weight differential that I needed, I went with this. I was almost tempted to go with the oversized grip here because I've had such good luck with that, starting with the Jumbo Max grip. But I think this one is going to give me some of those control improvements that I was missing with the standard grip, but also give me back all of the weight that I needed. Now, I will tell you here, it's very grippy. It's got a nice tacky texture. You can see it almost looks a little shiny, but it's very light. I think it's a polyurethane. It's like a foam. It actually feels a little bit like the oversized grips that you would put on putters these days, but everything else looks about the same. I will tell you that 
with rubber grips, you can kind of bend them. They kind of deform a little bit easier when you put them on. When you put on these grips, you want to be kind of careful that you don't bend it because then you can kind of get crinkles on the surface there. It's more foamish than rubberish. They're not as flexible as I think a traditional grip. So you kind of want to put them on in one shot. Now I will tell you, gone ahead and actually put it on here and I was swinging this club around. So shortened shaft. The weight adjustment was done completely in the grip, which makes it a modification that is really easy. You can do it at home because you can just trim your shaft, put on this new lighter grip. And I will tell you, as I get to a dress here, and I was trying some of the clubs that I hadn't trimmed yet. And man, I'll tell you what, the swing weight or the perceived swing weight seems just about the same. So I am really, really excited about this and I think I am going to see improvements in control that I need. I am going to get the lie angle kind of dialed in as opposed to being a little toe up. Now it can be flat on the ground. And I have these great new grips that really kind of fill out my medium sized hands a lot better than those standard grips. So if you want to pick up these win grips, the dry tack lights are just phenomenal i absolutely love them and they aren't any more expensive than any of the other grips so the golf pride grips are easily 12 13 dollars a grip these are a little bit cheaper i think at about nine or ten dollars a grip so they're actually a really good value and they kind of check all the boxes bigger the size lighter weight really good quality easy to install hey if you want to pick up the dry tacks i will put a link to them in the description below peter von panda out